Hello me fixing everything and today I'm going to show you how to fix the, how to test this alternator that is being fitted to a Peugeot 206, 307, 406, 607 and 806. Something that is good to know before we start, you don't need to remove the alternator from the vehicle, you just need to disconnect the battery and the positive cable and the connector here on the side, I'll show you in a second. And you need a multimeter, mice with automatic range. Okay, now you can see that the alternator is moving, that's good, it's not blocked because it happens. Sometimes the alternator gets stuck, mechanical problem, now we'll test the electrics. What you need to do is remove the 13 millimeter nut from here, remove the cable, the positive wire, don't forget to disconnect the battery. Remove the communication wire here, unplug it, and now here sometimes there is 8 millimeter nut, sometimes there is not, sometimes there is like a retaining clips, this plastic gets gets removed like this this is the voltage regulator remove it with seven millimeter uh, socket yeah like this here usually there is a cap this one goes to the side now quickly we're gonna check the rotor you can see it right here yeah usually you can see this when you look in your engine bay if you don't remove it we're looking for two to three ohms when we get the probe I'll just put it on so it does not beep if you see the screen 2.5 ohms from 2 to 3 ohms it's okay now it doesn't matter if it's this side yeah or the other side so polarity is not a problem it's just like a, a big wire what we also need to check if there is continuity between the slip rings and the and the casing of the alternator this is 16 mega so that's okay and i will check the other side 14 17 mega that's perfectly fine uh, mega is a very large number so it's like nothing now next thing we're going to check is the rectifier bridge what you want to do take the negative probe black one put it onto here that's the post for the big red wires for the positive terminal and touch here okay this will check the diodes we're looking for 0 0.5 0 0.45 it's okay 45 is okay 45 is okay so that's the first three you can take the opposite and see that they don't go back nothing 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 if it beeps it's a problem and it's showing like a zero zero now what you're gonna do is take the positive yeah put it here and touch it onto this side can you see these three one two and the third one so this means the rectifier bridge is perfectly fine you can take it again black one Open, 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 nothing. Good, so the rectifier bridge is okay. Next thing we're gonna check is the stator winding. We want to go on the side of them and hear them beep. But most importantly, we want to get on one of them, yeah? Put the other one here and see nothing. If you hear beeping, it, it's going in the bin, in the bin, yeah? If it's shorted to the wall, because it is possible, m most possible if you ask me, uh, it's, it's going to the bin. So this, this is okay. This whole thing should work perfectly fine. Now, you still might not have voltage coming and not charging. The last culprit will be this one. What you can do, which is not testing the alternator, but you can check the voltage that comes to the cable when the ignition on is on. If you have eight volts, it's definitely the voltage regulator. Unfortunately, other than the brushes, you can see these brushes are brand new. Other than the brushes, you can't check, you cannot check this voltage regulator with just a multimeter. You need a bench power supply. You need a special communicating device because some of them 
are different protocols some will be expect a signal from the computer some of them will expect a voltage between 12 and 14.8 volts and whatnot but there is a chip inside yeah there is a chip with almost like 15 wires inside so you cannot check the voltage regulator with the multimeter if you know way tell me i'll be very happy to see but that's generally what you can check on your um alternator stator is okay it's not shorted rotor is okay it's not shorted rectifier bridge is okay brushes look how long they are perfectly fine other thing it's the signal to the voltage regulator i hope this video and it turns this one is not the best yeah you can hear the bearing but it does work so that's that's how you can test some of them are 100 ampere this is 170 some of them are a little bit less but they're exactly the same yeah i hope this video is being helpful to you i'll just put it back now and i will see you on to the next one i'll be happy if you leave me a comment or even if it's negative i might not reply but i'll still read it that's it bye bye